Hi, it's Adam from More Analysis Labs. Today we're going to do an interesting test called the NOAC, or the NOAC Volatility Test. And so we're going to have a look at how oils over time under extended temperature can actually have a propensity to sludge and get thicker over time. Now this is not necessarily something that's important when the oil is new, but as it gets older, it can actually age and this can, this can degrade. Now, why do we do the NOAC test? So the NOAC test looks at a volatizing the fractions of oil that are the lighter ends, because in, in, in all blends of oil, there'll be some small molecular weight molecules and there'll be some larger molecular weight molecules. And these smaller ones will have a, a lower boiling point than the higher ones. And so what can happen under temperature over time, you can start to see that the um, oil um, can start to thicken and sludge over time. And you may see this in use in your machinery, such as engines, or you could even see it in hydraulics as well, which is quite a common thing we see. So what we're going to do today is we're going to check an oil's propensity to actually volatilize, and we're going to measure it at about 250 degrees Celsius and see um, how much of the oil boils off. So we're effectively distilling off part of the oil, and we're going to see how much mass we lose. Obviously, the less we lose, the better but we can see how much we lose as part of the testing. So it's a bit of an in-depth test. So we're going to go through each stage in parts. So I'm going to cut to each bit as we're doing the test just to speed it up for you because it's a few hours test to get it all involved. Okay, great. The next thing we're going to do is I've got this container here right in front of me and we're going to fill this with oil and we're going to weigh it as we're doing it so we then know how much oil we've put in. So we're going to take the weight of the container then we're going to add the oil so we then know the weight of the oil plus the container and then we're going to at the end of the test we're going to weigh it again so we know how much is lost so i'm just going to pour that out now now i've got my container full of oil and i'll need to attach the head which is going to go onto it, which is this object here, onto the top, and that's going to attach up to the apparatus. So I'm just going to fix that on now. Yeah, that feels tight enough now. So I'm going to take this, place this into the instrument, and then I'm going to clamp it here to this. So that's good and joined there. Just need to insert the temperature probe now. And we're good to go. So this next bit's a bit noisy, so I might cut away after I turn this on to talk more about the test. What's happening now, so as it's reaching temperature, we're then going to then set the pressure to the required pressure for doing the standards of the test, so it's comparable to other labs. And then we're then going to turn on the extraction of the uh, vacuum pump onto the samples to allow the vapors to be collected and drawn off. So let's recap what we've done so far. We've, first of all, we've taken our oil sample and we've weighed out a set known uh, weight of oil We've clamped it into the rig, and then we've took that rig and we've put it into the NOAC instrument. The NOAC instrument is heating it up to the target temperature, about 250 degrees Celsius. And then we've then, once it's reached that temperature, we then released vacuum on the system and um, got it to the target desired pressures and start drawing off and basically distilling off the vapors of oil. So you could hopefully just see in that pictures there that I was just showing you, the vapors were actually collecting already within the first few minutes. We could see once it hit the target temperature to start drawing across um, into the um, vacuum container. Now, this material is stuff that would in use in your machines under high loads, perhaps, or under high engine to engine or engine or hydraulic temperatures could actually turn um, to vapors, could actually, they could form oil mist, but more likely it's going to sludge. And so hopefully we can see what happens in an hour when we come back. We'll then go through again what the test has covered and we'll explain what the results mean. Okay, see you in an hour.
Okay, so the test is now finished and it's actually managed to cool down. So I've just managed to loosen off the top of this now. So I've just cracked it open and we can see what's inside. So let's have a quick look at what's inside now, shall we? So we can see originally the ore was nice yellowy colour and we can now see it's gone a dark golden colour indicating the ore has been both oxidised and probably lost some material from it. So we're just going to weigh it now and let's see what, what the findings are. So we've done the calculations, we've reweighed the sample, now it's gone through the NOAC tester and we results were in and we found that the result was just under 12%. So that's a really good result and it's consistent with what we're expecting for the sample so the customer will hopefully be happy. But what does the result mean? So if we had a result that was um, generally specifications, first of all, tend to have a limit of around 14 or 15 percent. You'd have to consult the various specifications what they require, but generally it's around that figure. Some bit stricter is down as maybe as low as 12. But the point is, is that if you have a result that's maybe 20 or more, for instance, that means there's a high volatility to the oil. And so that means in use, it will sludge and thicken over time. So why does that matter? Well, for instance, if you were to take a hydraulic oil, you first of all, you've purchased an oil and you wanted, say, for instance, a 46 grade hydraulic oil and you put it in use. But then over time, it starts to thicken. So it's no longer a 46 and it starts creeping up towards 60 and maybe even maybe even maybe even further and it's heading closer towards a 68 so that's going to increase drag in your system and it's not going to be giving you the good efficiency you should be having again the same thing happens with with um with engine oils you can see that when you have a sludging you'll get an increased viscosity pure fuel efficiency and so it won't run um as well for as long and so that's why this is part of a lot of modern engine standards, but also a lot of hydraulic oil formulations. So if you'd like to find out more and you'd like to test your oil, whether you be a new oil supplier, or you'd like to check your own oil from your machinery, what the NOAC volatility test is, just get in touch and ask any questions. Again, if you've got any questions at all, please reach out in the comments. Thank you.